were found dead because the British government refused to let them in. Some might ask, what has this got to do with climate change? What has this got to do with the climate crisis? But I think that this has everything to do with the climate crisis. Because this is what we're going to be seeing more of as the climate crisis expands. When people in the global south are facing mass human suffering. Because people think that the future post-climate catastrophe, that it will be some kind of dystopia, a bit like a scene from Mad Max where we're all driving around in cars and trying to get what scraps we can. But I think that the future post-climate catastrophe will be a society in which every inequality, every oppression that we see in our society today, in our capitalist society today, is ramped up a million times. Those inequalities we see every day, poverty, people dying of starvation, people facing and fleeing war, instability, trying to eke out a living for themselves. All the while, the people who are responsible for this, they can while the rest of us suffer. What does this look like? There's people in boardrooms, I'm sure, in this city who are preparing for the climate crisis as we speak. Corporations have been assuring their stakeholders, the news came out this week, that in the instance of a five degree warming in 30 years, the profits of their shareholders will be kept safe. Shame. So they're going to continue to destroy the planet while people, as Greta Thunberg rightfully pointed out at a speech at the UN Climate Summit, summit, will be suffering endlessly. And we know how the British government are gearing up to respond. We know how the Australian government is gearing up to respond. There have been forums where the leaders of different departments are getting together, preparing military read readiness. They're arming themselves, militarizing the borders, arming themselves to protect the resources in the hands of the wealthy few while the rest of us suffer. Two refugees committed suicide last week because of the horrors of the detention system. When we see masses of refugees fleeing uh, the, the conditions caused by the climate crisis, this is going to be escalated massively. And how do they respond when we fight back against all of this? When we link up these struggles together and fight. They, they want to arrest us. They want to break up our movements. They want to stop us resisting so that the 1% can keep making massive profits. They've sent tanks onto the streets of Chile. They've been breaking up the protests in Hong Kong. But people are standing up all over the world to the climate crisis and facing up to every single injustice that exists in society. In Chile, miners are actually striking as part of a general rebellion against the government. They are shutting down some of the environmentally destructive uh, corporations, the mines um, in that country. Indigenous people have been standing up and fighting back in Ecuador, in Chile and in Brazil. It is from these movements that we must take inspiration as well. Their struggles, we have to stand in solidarity for them. And we have to stand up like they have, like every, like all the people in Chile, and Ecuador, Hong Kong uh, and Spain. Stand up to the horrors of this system and fight for a future for this planet. Thank you. Thanks so much, Marsha. Um, and with that, we'll get started on this floor. Um, we're going to go through Mine Place uh, confronting corporations like AGL, uh, BP, Suncorp, uh, Westpac, banks who fund the climate devastation that is ruining this planet, that is causing millions around the world to suffer. Um, we're prepared to stand up to them. We're prepared to be inspired by the words of Greta Thunberg, who stood up to some very powerful people and said to them, how dare you? That is the exact same attitude we are taking today uh, to the streets of Sydney to confront the crime of climate criminals destroying the planet. How dare they? Um, and so with that, uh, everyone here today, raise your hand if you're prepared to disrupt business as usual, to rebel against the status quo that is sealing our fate of climate devastation. Raise your hand if you're ready to rebel. Fuck yeah. All right, let's get started. Um, we're going to march over this way, follow this big lead banner, um, and let's get started now. The oceans are rising. No more compromising. The oceans are rising. No more compromising. The oceans are rising.